hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to convert a image to a base 64 code and display that code inside your text area so we will be doing this inside our react chase application so this is the short little demo here you can choose the actual image file and then it will display this code inside the text area you can see that you can also refresh your application change it the code will change automatically all the code will be displayed here you can control c copy this code and store it somewhere else and uh, all the source code regarding this application guys i have written in the video description this is my blog post i have given this blog post in the video description so this is all the source code that you will need here so simply download all the source code by going to the video description link so let's get started guys by building this application so we will be building a brand new react.js application so now you will see that i will just make it as force so command is pretty simple you will see that i think we can make it inside a new directory So npx create react app base 64 react is the project name and it is creating this you can see it is installing the packages so this will hardly take 5, uh, five to 10 seconds to create this and installing all dependencies so we can go to the project it is there inside react base 64. and inside this c directory we have this we can open this so you will see your package.json file is created here so it is just creating the packages guys so if you don't want to build it as a local environment you can anytime you can use uh, online websites there are many websites available to create the project which is one such website is code sandbox.io here you just need to don't need to create account simply you can click on this button start coding for free and then you can select your technology in this case we are building a react application so if you click this button automatically this will build out your application react.js application so on the right hand side you can check out the live preview so i think this is a better option for smaller projects so here what we need to do is that we need to simply let me delete all this so if you just make the changes it will automatically reflect so here we need to make a simple variable right here at the top which is base64 code this will be empty by default and inside our return statement guys here we will be having a simple form so inside this form we will have a input type file and then we will have uh, a on change event handler so when we change the file this function we will make which is on change and uh, because it is saying on change is not defined so we need to define this function right here at the top so we can just define it arrow function and after this guys you will see there will be a choose file button if you click it you will be able to select the image file and after when you select the image we will get the number of files which the user has selected by using e.target.files e parameter will be contained inside it so it will be automatically passed and we need to select only the first file so that is why we will simply say that uh, 
file is equal to files the first element is residing in the zeroth index and uh, then we will call this special function which is get base64 and we will pass the actual file so now we need to make this function get base64 which will actually get the base64 code for the image file so this can be a arrow function like this so inside this guys what we need to do we need to read the file we will make use of file reader so we will instantiate a new instance of file reader which is a actual javascript object built in and here we will make use of read data dot read data as url and inside this we will pass the actual file so this has a on load event method so this will be a arrow function so when it is completed reading the file this on load function will be automatically trigger holding the result reader dot result that's it so this needs to be capital l so that's it so let me see on load is not defined mm. yeah we need to define this function on load right here at the top on load so inside this function guys what we need to do is that we are passing this string here you will see that this is a base64 string so we can pass this inside this function so what we need to do is that we need to init uh, just initialize it to the base64 code variable that we have declared that's it you will see we have declared this variable so we are just initializing it in this function that's it so after this guys what we need to do is that we need to move to the let's suppose we need to go to our uh, HTML and here after this input field we will also need a text area to display the rows you can provide as many rows as you want I will provide 50 columns 50 so I will initialize the value of the text area like this this dot base 64 code that's it so now if you now see guys if you select your image so now what will happen let me see the problems it is saying that unexpected token 27th line uh, let me see what is the problem here if you go to the video description link I have given all the source code this dot base 64 code and if you see here guys uh, let me console log so now you will see guys it is now successfully it has taken some time but it is automatically doing this so once again I can refresh it you can see the base64 code is displaying here you can change the image the code will change like this so all the source code of this application will be there inside video description guys in the video description please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.